Welcome to Chase the Veil. Um, today's topic is wedding horror stories. We always have a lot of fun with this topic, but before we begin, we're going to go around the table and introduce ourselves. Mike Wise from Mike Wise Photography. Jennifer Rossi with Rossi's Catering and Continental Ballroom. Jeff Hodson with Excite Music and publisher of Web Plan 101. Chef Joanne with Rossi's Catering and the Continental Ballroom. Krista Tharp with Tharp Events and Blissfully Simple Wedding Planning. Okay, guys, this is one of our fun type episodes here where we get to talk about anything and everything that can go wrong at the weddings. Um, we call them wedding horror stories. There are all those little secrets and things that we talk about behind the scenes, but let's let's put some out on the table and let brides know that this this really happens. Um, anybody got one to start with? I think we all probably yeah. <laughs> Pick one. That, that's all right, I'll go. Pick one. Um, I had, um, it was a large wedding party. It was a couple of years ago and had a mother of the bride who um, was just determined to have the two-year-old be the ring bearer. And that's fine. You know, kids bring a certain sort of enjoyment to a wedding. I believe that. Uh, but what she um, wouldn't, could not be swayed on was the fact that she wanted him to carry the actual rings. Um, don't ever do that even if they're 12 I don't care who they are don't ever do that but she was determined and um, to change the name of the guilty I'll call him Brandon and um, he was a cute little impish two-year-old and I was across they were all lined up we had them all ready to go it was about five minutes to ceremony time and he kept going uh, he took them off the, the pillow and I was across the room and I saw him and um, I yelled as quietly as I could in the back of the church, Brandon, and he turned to me and he went like this. Now the women around him saw this and both, all of them yelled Brandon and he put them in his mouth and he swallowed the rings. And it got quiet for a second like, uh-uh, that did not just happen. And it did happen and I, and I remember thinking, I've never had this happen before. What, you know, five minutes, but immediately we went in as, I mean, he was obviously going to be fine. We found a doctor who happened to be the bride's uncle. Um, he came out and said, everything's going to be fine. We borrowed rings from people in the ceremony and um, it, it was fine. The bride and groom laughed it out. Um, obviously they have the rings back, but that was way past <laughs> my job description. So, um, <laughs> I didn't know so, whether to ask. Yeah, that I, yeah, yeah, I was thinking it. But. Yeah, they have the rings, but but you know what? They got through it. They laughed, and what an incredible story they have now. You know, they have a little boy themselves now, a little one, and it just it was funny. But I remember the mother coming up to me sheepishly saying, "You were right." <laughs> it's like don't ever do that. What what you know, Murphy's law. Whatever can happen will happen. But the thing is, is that it was great. They're married. They're happy. They didn't let that ruin their event, and and it was great. Okay, moral of the story, don't give real rings to yes. two-year-olds. Um, who wants to add something next? Well, I think my, probably my most trying was when I had a bride that had a little too much alcohol. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, 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 it snuck up on her. Um, they started with some wine in the you know, getting ready process, and then it elevated to, you know, immediately after the ceremony, we go hit the open bar, and it was just, you know, I felt really bad because at, at the point where, you know, I knew she had had too much to drink, it really made it tough for me to kind of guide the rest of the evening because I think everybody else kind of saw it too. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a tough, tough position to be in. So try to watch that. Be careful. You know, my biggest suggestion, if you are the bride and groom, just wait until the after party, you know, a drink maybe, but really keep the alcohol for later. Yeah, I think something that the brides forget is that may be how much they're used to drinking, yeah. but under the nerves. added stress and nerves and or the fact that they've eat. not eaten mm -hmm. most yeah. of the day or not eating eaten properly. Right. Um, yeah, say if you're going to drink, fine. Save the heavy drinking for after dinner yep. when the party. That way the formalities are out of the way. We had one. Everybody's back here in the room. Father of the bride, bridegroom, all the bridesmaids, all the groomsmen, ready to do the introduction. I think you might have been at this one. What, ready to do the introduction. No mother of the bride. <laughs> no mother of the bride. She calls, 
somebody come back to the church and pick me up. Oh, <laughs> they just left her. <laughs> Everyone left her. <laughs> she was oh. not happy. <laughs> oh. so, she was probably cleaning up that bride's room and yes. everything just took off. Yep. Yep. So someone jumped in a car, drove across town, got mom, and came back. <laughs> oh. But all, all went well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I can definitely talk about mothers of the bride. Um, brides, it's your wedding. Moms, you already had your chance. Um, that's kind of my rule of thumb with it. it, it this is quite simple. Whatever the bride wants, she gets. Um, even if they're paying for even, it, right? Exactly. Even yeah. if the mom and the dad are writing the check, it is still the bride and the groom's wedding. I agree. And if they, I tell them that up front. If they don't like that, I'm not the, I'm not the vendor for them. Um, but I've seen way too many moms that want to plan this wedding um, for what they want. And it's kind of regardless of what the bride wants. And I've seen brides literally in tears because they didn't want something to happen or they wanted something to happen and their mom didn't and they got pushed into doing it. And that's not a good memory to have. Um, brides, it's your wedding. End of the day, it's your wedding. It's the groom's wedding. Everybody else is there to enjoy it and to enjoy what you want. Um, as far as actual horror stories, yeah, I've seen plenty of, you know, drunk brides and grooms, alcohol kind of goes along with, you know, the majority of the receptions. It doesn't mean they can't have a good time. Just got to keep it in control. Well, and I think we've all agreed that, you know, when we get asked that question, it's never to, like, make fun of the people <coughs> that it happened to because, you know, we love to be able to control the day and make it as perfect as possible, but we also understand that, Accidents happen, yeah. things happen, right. things go wrong, and I feel like our biggest job is to try to keep those things, one, under control as much as possible, but if they do happen, a lot of times brides don't even know that yeah. they do. Right, you know, and that's I, our I, job. That's, yeah. that's to keep it going perfectly in their eyes. It may not, those things probably didn't ever reach the bride that we've talked about, mm -hmm. you know, uh, mm -hmm. I think that's a key. And that, that also on top of that, that they know that things are going to happen. It, happens but this is you know this is the, your first celebration of, of a union of not only two people but of families and um, sometimes that's lost and it's all about the party I mean I've, we've had a wedding where we did it and um, the bar tips were stolen a mm -hmm. purse was stolen and this was at a high uh, very elegant place you know but the bride didn't know about that till much later that's something that you know you get through that type of a thing and uh, there's definitely things scare. you don't expect right um, when it comes down to it, some of those things that you don't expect and you really don't think you can plan for is what happens. But at the end of the day, I mean, just things can go wrong. Exactly. And the brides, you know, turn to your vendors. They can help. I mean, I've repaired countless wedding dresses um, <laughs> with pliers and duct tape and Safety anything, pens. anything I can come <laughs> up with so that they can walk in, have a grand entrance, or have a first dance, you know, because they didn't have a wedding planner um, and they didn't have someone there that could fix it and they were panicked and it's nothing to panic about no. um, you know lost bouquets you know fine you've lost your throwaway bouquet we've got flowers all over the place we can tie something together mm -hmm. to throw I mean these are little things that brides shouldn't mm -hmm. you know worry about but I always tell wedding rings is a new my bride and grooms I was telling them I'm like you know what if something doesn't go right don't tell anybody mm -hmm. because 99% of the time nobody else knows. Mm -hmm. They're not looking to see if the colors were just perfect on the cake or you know whether the flowers didn't quite come as you expected. But if you go around and you're telling everybody, right. oh, this is you know this yeah. is not the way I planned it, and then they're gonna know. But you know, just take it with a grain of salt. And, and on the go flip on. side of that, um, again, a, a wedding that we did was outside. It was Memorial Day weekend. It was 101 degrees. It was at um, a country, not a country club, a, a golf course. And it was a five-tiered cake, and it, it was nothing to do with the cake itself, or it was just the fact it was 101 degrees. And it collapsed on itself, and it did. It just went bloop like that, straight down. In <laughs> fact, we were able to save the top two tiers and put it in with gladiolas around it. And then when the bride walked in, she goes, happened to my cake <laughs> you know we told her but she had, we have pictures of her you know going with the cake that's all yeah. destroyed I remember she, she, remember, she was adamant great. she wanted to go back and yeah, see she the wanted to see cake. the destroyed cake and, and it went oh, throughout the whole and it was 300 people <laughs> and it was a laugh everyone ate the cake it was funny it was a funny thing so she could have easily have had 
destroyed wedding because of that, but she didn't. She and her family, they knew it was crazy out, and it was great, and that's what makes weddings memorable. Mm -hmm. That makes her classy. Exactly. Well. Yeah. That's, that's exactly that's right. Yeah. Yes. All right, guys, um, I think it's about time we're going to wrap this up. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please join us um, next time on ChaseTheVell.com. Feel free to leave any comments, or if you have ideas for upcoming episodes, leave those as well. We'd love to hear from you.